Yo, what up, YouTube? What up, UFC fans? Apparently, Quinton Jackson is going in on Chael Sonnen. He's even exposing him for, you know, how he gets his fights. And we all know Chael has got a big fucking mouth. Like, this guy, he's, he fucking stormed off uh, an interview uh, on Off the Record, which is a Canadian broadcasted uh, TV show where, you know, they have a ton of sports guests on. And the guy trying to do a simple interview and Chael just storms off the set because he's talking about how he lost to... Anderson Silva, and he just didn't want to hear it, uh, you know, as Jackson goes in to expose Chelsan, he's like, his mouth gets him his fights, you know, what's his name, how you say his name, Chel, his mouth gets his ass in trouble, the dude is exciting for like two minutes, but then you just want to turn down the volume, like, what the hell are you talking about, he sounds like he practices his stuff in the mirror, and then he goes out and says it, this is his quote. You know, he's a great wrestler. That's all I'm going to say. Because everything else sucks. He can't punch hard. Look what he did to Anderson Silva. He did a great job holding him down, making it a boring fight out of a decorated champion for five rounds. And after the fight, I see that Anderson Silva didn't have a mark on him. So he's kind of right in that aspect where he's not a great striker. He's been submitted a ton of times. So his submission defense isn't that great. And uh, he's only good for wrestling. That's what he did to Michael Bisping. You know, that's what he's done to get his victories. But, you know, he doesn't have a great chin, and he doesn't have great defense. And he's not a great striker. Like, overall, Chil Sonnen can't really hang with guys at light heavyweight. That's why it's shocking to see that he's actually getting a title shot against John Jones. It makes zero sense, and... You know, fighters are going to speak their mind on, on bullshit that they see. And obviously, this is bullshit UFC matchmaking. I think Quentin Jackson would destroy Chael Sonnen. I think most light heavyweights, you know, top light heavyweights in the UFC destroy Chael Sonnen. But, you know what? That's what matchmaking is about. It's about making a fight that's going to do a lot of money in the pay-per-view side. And that's going to uh, be a great fight. And this part is lacking the great fight element of it, you know, because he's coming off a knockout loss, and that's always an issue when you're fighting for a title, you know. You, you can't be an elite champion and, and get knocked out in your last fight and expect to have a great performance. It just doesn't happen that often. It's very rare, and, uh, you know, Quinton Jackson takes notice of that. So, um... He just wanted to say, you know, he talks trash way too much, and he, he just doesn't have the skills to back it up. And at the end of the day, I agree. Uh, in other news, Quinton Jackson is actually uh, on his last fight with the UFC, uh, you know, and apparently he's fighting Glover Teixeira, who uh, recently beat, uh, you know, Maldonado in his last fight at the most recent UFC. So this is definitely going to be an interesting fight. But, you know, Glover did have a tough time with Maldonado, and I expect him to lose to Quinton Jackson, who's a tremendous fighter, and hopefully we see him back in the UFC someday. I think he'd rip uh, a lot of the UFC's, uh, you know, upcoming light heavyweights, and he's still one of the best out there. So, for now, it is what it is, guys. Peace out, take care.